and this shit like that, but talk about all the killing all the time, I'm like, but he what? Uh -huh. I said he don't be talking about killing all the time, I'm like. So like he got he got some good songs, like like he got songs where he just pull his emotions out about how he feel, like how he be feeling lonely, shit like that. Like he got mad different songs, but whatever he going through. No, I he, sometimes I'd be like, um, I had to think about it because I'm like, yeah, he's putting a little bit too much on himself. Because even without him making that type of music, at the end of the day, it's people that probably don't even listen to him. That still, he's still going to do that regardless. But I know it, he probably feel like he perpetuated the cycle. But yeah, it's a cycle that's yeah. already submitted. It's a, it, like to be honest with you. This cycle is cemented, not even just here in this country, around the world. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't believe what, that. Like, nah, I'm telling you, you, like, if you, I'm talking like within us as, as black people. Like, no, nah, I don't believe that. Trauma, uh, trauma uh, always, look at him. Trauma always heal when you destroy and you die i mean not die in the physical but you die from pain is either going to make you go deeper in the destruction or you're going to find your way out you're going to find your way to god so i can't say that because we all start with the light and we've been filled with the dark and once you your eyes is open that power is way more stronger his heart hurt his heart hurt like once you really realize like you have that you like yo I really took a life and it's not just words like and it really penetrates you that's what I'm seeing him and he like yo I did I feel like I did it on a mass level because music is the soul it's the key to the soul it's even in the bible we even know what Lucifer okay. Lucifer his skill was so this go deeper especially these people in the music industry they know a little bit more than what they say because they the pop pipers you see what i'm saying they've been exposed so so i pray for his safety i'm gonna say that I'll, yeah i'll put on shit because at the end of the day uh uh like me i'm, I'm gonna talk for me that's for me i understand I, I I walk around with a target on my back all the time. Like I done been around dudes that I did shit to since I've been locked up. And when they see me, they automatically still see that wrong. I don't. At the end of the day, I'm cool if they see that wrong because I'm never gonna give you this wrong. Like at the end of the day, that line can't be crossed no more because. A lot of we harm has been done on both sides. So I understand that even though I change, the people that's coming from that not gonna change. So in order for me to keep my change and to keep myself a certain way, I have to leave that environment. I have to get away from all the chaos I created with them same people. And I don't do that and I go back this this person has changed, oh uh, uh, I'm going to end up at a tombstone. Like, they don't, especially I done seen it happen. I done, mm -hmm. I done seen it. I done seen it happen. Like, I, my man's just left. Grew up with him. Everything. Like, he just left last year in April. He got killed three months later. He went back to the like, streets? Like, he went home, like, doing him. Like, right? He was just, like, they say he wasn't in the streets or nothing. His past came back and got him some shit he did before he got locked up and came back and bit him in his ass. So I mean, you have to change the environment. Yeah, that's definitely an addition to it. And that's why it be a double-edged sword when they be like, oh, you got the money and you left the hood. Because when you stay, you see what happened to these rappers. But I'm just, you know. I don't even. I'm, 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 get ran up and they done get shot for their chains, all this other shit. Yep, and I'm thinking that 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 karma, that's what you're talking about from a karma karma perspective, as well as yeah, to what you put out and I try to tell people what you put in this world, you're gonna get bad. You put bad vibrations out, you did bad things, them bad things are gonna circle around and come back to you. Whatever you see. Whatever you see. Yeah. But he have a double whammy. 
because when you sign them contracts and you deal with them people and they want you to perform a certain way and now, now you struggling now you struggle. You, you see you, what I'm saying? You, you, you signed to the big me. You signed to the big machine. So let's keep you that in mind. Power no more. Yeah. So we don't know what contracts he's still under. How he feeling? How he gonna want to perform? How they gonna accept it? Not accept it? And then you talk about that alleged insurance. We gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that right there with that. But you know what I'm saying? What they talking about? They be having insurance on these these rappers' heads. Hell yeah, <laughs> they need the company because. Because at the end of the day, they got investments in them, so they got to have insurance on mm. the company. company. If, if, if I pump a million dollars into this artist, I'm going I'm to have well, life insurance on him. Not, he, 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 he. Listen, I understand I, that, I gotta, though. I got to get him. I understand that, but not death insurance. Like, as a nurse, they gave us insurance to cover liability. But death insurance? Come on. Come on. Something. But it's not proven. I don't know if anybody showed that these people had a death contract, so that's still just a. But I understand the insurance thing, especially in business. But so that's a whole nother game. But he going through it. Let me ask you a question. So, with your situation, we know somebody lost their life. How do you feel about that? Say that again. I said in a situation where you know somebody lost their life, how do you feel about it on the soul level, like a man to man? On the soul level, it, 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 it hurt. It, it hurt, especially like somebody you grew up with, somebody like you actually seen, like y'all was innocent growing up together, riding bikes, doing shit like that, little pranks, and then y'all got older and gravitated into the street life. You know what you got into, you know what you did, you know what you're doing, but it still hurt. It's staying like it, it really, it really staying. Like, like, that's my life too. Like we spent quality time together as kids growing up, all the way to adults. We spent time together, so that's a part of my life going too. Like, and, and that go with that go with anything like a, a past relationship, girlfriend, boyfriend. Anything like it hurt. And it really hurt. Like it hurt. So, <clears throat> yeah, you got that's every why. Time, every time I feel like somebody died, I really, I, I care about. I really had a genuine connection with her. Her, her, her. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them out yeah. there. They was just yeah. dropping like dominoes. I just, I just keep it in my head like yo, like this not normal. I just like keep putting it in my head that it's not normal. Cause before I used to play like, this shit normal. Normal. When I was home, people dying around me. It's normal. That's normal. Brother got killed last night. Well, that's crazy. Keep it. Damn. Well, that's your brother died in a stolen car. Damn, that's crazy. But in my mind, like, it's normal. Like now, I said that it's not normal. I'm glad you see that. And then I had to. And then I really had to understand that. that we all on the same planet, right? But at the end of the day, there's so many different societies within society. There's so many different worlds within this world at one time. Mm-hmm. Like, cause me, me feeling like, oh, that's not normal. That was me looking at how motherfuckers that, like, not even suburbs, motherfuckers that live in the hood, but never, none of their friends, gangsters, all of them work. They all went to college, school like that. They in a whole nother world. My world that I live in looks like, like so drastic and crazy to them like oh my god how can they do this how can they do that mm-hmm. but then i sit back and look i'm like i look at them like they bougie as hell like they don't know what it is but it's really too we have 60 seconds remaining many different understandings of certain shit it's a perspective. i had to really sit back and notice that yeah. i had to really sit back and like watch it like damn it's not normal it's- stuff that people go around the world that seems normal to them is not normal to certain starving going outside you gotta go you gotta go do this and that because you gotta go feed your family in a whole nother country so you gotta go 15 miles just to go get a loaf of bread and work we have 30 seconds remaining work 30 dollars a month i'm like damn i'm grateful as hell to be like in this country you see what i'm saying where do we start seeing what's going on around me but it's all about perspective 
in all theories, right. it's all about the perspective. You could be right outside the door, and the man next to you got a different perspective. Everything on fire around oh, yeah. him, but there anything peaceful. So it's a mindset. Correct. They brainwashed us. You gonna call me back? That's why I really don't peace about business either. Because I don't be wanting motherfuckers to see who come see me. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't be like, like, take that one person. I, I don't. I think that, that, that shit bothers me. Like, that shit always plagues me in the back of my head. Like, because at one point I was that person. And deep down, I still am to an extent, but I, I push that to the side. What you mean? I'm that person. I know me. Like, you're just not going to do nothing to me. And don't think it ain't going to be no repercussions. It might not happen now. It might not happen next week. It might not happen to me. It's going to happen eventually. So, I watch. i always been that person. Motherfuckers used to be, like, when I was home, like, then how you do this? How you do that already? I don't say nothing. I just, like, motherfucker, I do my homework. There's motherfuckers around me like that. There's motherfuckers that I know for a fact when I do some harm to me, when we see each other, we don't say nothing. We just look at each other. And we got a mutual understanding that right now, this ain't the time or the place. Because it's past right like, now. Well, I don't, I don't be wanting nobody to get no leg up on me, nothing. That's why I don't be sitting out this is like being in a hall with a movie. Oh, okay. Oh, nah, no. That shit always bothers me. That shit be in the back of my head all the time. And at the end of the day, that's why I already know how to move, and I've been had that vibe. So that's why when I skedaddle, I knew. And when I come back, I I already you already know is a certain people. I'm like nah, I will be ah, and you know I'm just talk like that. Um, you know we know how to move. It is what it is. So right. it's, it's, <laughs> that's something you don't have to worry about. Cause social media, yeah. I I know how to distinguish it. So you definitely keep that keep that in mind. So I feel you though, and I'm glad you like it's you letting it let me know. But what about neutralizing? Like you, it is a thing of neutralizing, and it is it ain't what it is, but it is because you're not that same person anymore. You see what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you, yeah, but that's the that's the thing. You don't have to change nobody, but you could present yourself to let them know, like, y'all, this is what it is. Like, because sometimes people just need that insight. They need that. We all got a heart. Now, I, I, I had that talk, but I don't never initiate it. I had that talk with a couple of dudes already. Like, they came up, yo, let me talk to you, bro. Like, it was spin the yard talking to you, look, bro. Like, I ain't with that shit no more. That shit did. Like, fuck that shit. People from my side going, people from your side going. I'm just focused on this money and my kids, this shit over, as far as me. You feel me? So when you see me, you let niggas on your side know he ain't got nothing to do with it. And I'm I'm gonna move the same way when they come to you. They don't go like that with everybody. Yeah, oh, we definitely know. I don't, I don't. Yeah, I definitely don't. I don't. I never initiated. I, I, I think I got that. I, I got that understandable. Like four people since I've been locked up, going on these two years. What you mean? And when they went home, when they went home, they really stood on what they talked about. Cause I be talking to people. They're like, yeah, bro. Like he came to me and told me that shit. Yeah, he don't even be around. His, he don't even be around the same niggas no more. He be exactly. He don't be around. So like, that's that's that big. Be a small percentage. That's big of them though. That's a big person. You gotta be big, you gotta be willing to just like stand on your high haters because you can't wait for somebody else to come neutralize it. I'm telling you, you stronger than what you what you think. So, I mean, a man had no, to no, move, no, move different, like after work, you can't just be in the hood like, yeah, nah, fuck that, I'm good. Nah, because people still feel greasy. Some do. Yeah, but at the, I'm just a person that I, I hate it because you never know if it's genuine. If you, if I'm the one to initiate it, I feel like just because I'm initiating it, motherfuckers feel like, oh, I ain't there. Oh, I, I could pull a bull over 
his eyes. So I'm gonna tell them this shit because yeah. they this shit. Most of the motherfuckers I go at it with, or I used to go at, they know like yo, he a genuine dude. He not on muffle. He not gonna sneak this behind your back. He not gonna do none of that shit. So if you go holla at him and you say how it is, that shit gonna stay between y'all too. Like he ain't, he ain't none of that. Yeah, you I'm gotta gauge that type of person. You gotta yeah, you gotta gauge that person. I'm not that type of person. Well, you know, when you when you get to a point, you probably do. You never know. Because I, I got to a point like that. I wasn't just doing the shit you was doing. But I had ran into a few people in high school. And when they looked at me, they jumped back like, oh, shit. And I had to really like, no, 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 no. I'm not that same person. Like, you know, whatever I did, you know how I was, I apologize on that behalf. But they still sort of gangster in me. It didn't neutralize all the turn up that that made them say hold the fuck up black jesus so i ain't gonna right, say right, right. it's gonna make him just like oh he's soft it ain't cotton no this nigga g because you're og sometimes nah, you yeah, it, ain't, it, it ain't even it ain't even about them thinking he's soft and cotton it's the it's the it's the point where they oh i i got his guard down your guard right, down. Got you let him know I'm play on it no 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 don't matter don't matter what what it is you you let you give off what you need to give off say what you need to keep it moving it's about neutralization at the end of the day you still gonna be on point but even in jersey you can't even be on point anyway legally because then you can't even carry a gun so it's like yo it's like at the end of the day it's you know what it is yeah you gotta keep it moving when it comes to this type of hood shit and you like change your life it just you just yeah, got to keep it moving everybody and i be like i be pushing my i be trying to stay away from the drama but I trying my hardest like i do that yeah it's I, I good yeah you gotta do it like even with me like i was in the streets but i had to leave newark i had to do it it had to be a change for me to grow because i was gonna be stuck there doing that living that same type of life or whatever i was doing you see what i'm saying right. the mindset right. Right. So yeah, That's what I said I'm out. I, mean, I, I don't got the. I don't got. You already know what we do. Yeah, I lost a lot of time on that shit. I ain't got time. Like, yeah, I ain't got time I'm trying to get myself right. And when I get myself right, whoever I could save through philanthropy, that's what I'm gonna do. So that's just that. Like, I can't. I can't. I feel like I can't always change how somebody would think of what it. So I do understand what you mean by initiating. That shit, that shit be bothering me. It bothers me a lot because it's like, yeah. Like, and the crazy part is, what it means, so I think like that was actually sitting down and talking to one of the dudes and shit. And he like, uh, it was me, him, and his other mans. So he like, damn, this what you was talking about. Who y'all used to be talking about when um, we home and shit. You know, yeah, we used to be having little meetings in the backyard and shit, and terrorizing us and shit like that. Blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah, he like, bro, he like, as long as I've been over here, bro, I did not know they was talking about you for you. Why are you so? He like, man, he said the same shit. He like, yeah, like, I know him, but I didn't know him. Like, he said, so, on the streets, he was like the boogeyman to us. Yeah, cause like, cause be him and his niggas <laughs> gonna go above and beyond. Like, and, and that's what, the old heads used to tell us, they like, yo, y'all remind us of niggas in the 90s, niggas in the early 2000s. Y'all don't remind us of the young boys that's growing up now. That's why all of them scared of y'all. No, because they're not in the streets, as I told you. They were playing video games. They was boxing on the video games. So exactly. in their mind, they think they did it. That's the whole shit right there. They, once they said y'all remind us of the 90s and early 2000s, mm-hmm. no, no smartphones. None of that shit, like, none yep. of that, you feel me? Gotta Facebook last going on crazy, Twitter. 90s babies. You see what I'm saying? The 90s babies, the last moment yeah. before technology came, t- taking over straight, altering these people's personalities and thinking they more than what they are. They ain't even doing shit. Kids, these, they uh-huh. coming out like they gotta be, yo, I was talking to my, uh, Shadri, she was like, he was like, some people, some of these people his age think they need to be making like 20 G's a month and all. I said, yo, at 19, I don't make no fucking 20 G's this month. I was like, well, I, at that point I had a kid, but I was hustling, otherwise doing hair, but I wasn't making 20 G's. That's not normal. And the normal that we putting out there, right. I'm saying you supposed to have high expectations, but you gotta work for that shit. You see what I'm saying? And right. 
yo, it makes them soft as cotton. They haven't experienced nothing. So yeah. we, we that's why you need to be out here talking to these young boys so they can at least live vicariously through some of your experience to just snatch them up by the neck. Because baby, oh yeah, um the kids, um, people's just passed. You know, this young boy who was out here, he was around the Zaya age. So he about 17. Since he was in fifth grade, I've been hearing about dude BJ start acting up. Basically, she, they, they told me, like, he was just a regular kid, quiet. And then from fifth to sixth grade, he started getting in trouble, trying to, uh, you know, like, it was something like he had to protect himself. Like, people was trying to play him. So he, he got into that behavior of trying to, like, you, you know what I'm talking about when the boys ain't got no direction and he don't know how to do it. So, spiraling, spiraling, kicked out of house to house, make a long story short, I think it's in, in Arizona. His stepdad kicked him out, got an older girl pregnant, seemed like somebody set him up. They said, they said a week before he got, uh, you know, um, his peoples tried to take his own gun from him and shoot him. I said, like, what the fuck y'all got going on? Like, what? What? And you still, he still stayed around? Wait, what's these people thinking? But you know, I, God bless the dead, you know. But this this the stuff that's going on. It's unnecessary. God bless Probably no money exchange, nothing right now. But they say it's probably, they did say it's probably a robbery go wrong and they think it's the baby, the girlfriend. Cause he just had a baby with somebody else. I said, yeah, <laughs> bitch is grimy. Grimy. Yeah. Yo, the, yeah, the expectation of women. I'm praying for you like you praying for me. The expectation of some women out here, yo, they think you' supposed to be giving them 20 G's just to sit in the house. They don't want to cook. They ain't going to do shit. They got to look, yo, BBLs. These they in a fucked up fantasy. Literally, we the last more weekends of normalness, the sanity. It's That's factual. Everybody chasing this fantasy body. Everybody, I'm gonna go get this. I'm gonna go get surgery. I'm gonna do, do this. I'm gonna do that. Huh? I don't watch the documentary. All the fuck girls that be dying in Miami getting the BBS. Baby. Yo, it's Blood, clots, all of that Thank shit. you. Kidney failure. It's so bad. I, I, I missed the recording this commercial. This is commercial. Uh, they trying to have outside the womb babies. Shit looking like the Matrix. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna put it up on uncensored. Outside wounds, like just like the matrix, where you can put this your egg and person sperm together and have them in the intubator. You can monitor them online. It wasn't for women who can't have babies. It's for women who don't want to mess up their bodies. Right. Baby. Yeah. So that's where we headed to with this mentality. We went from playing up and down on the streets playing dodgeball and manhunt that was my time you right. know you see what right, right. and y'all was walking around the neighborhood a lot what y'all was doing y'all but i know y'all was outside but it started doing everything playing we was playing football manhunt all that shit we still okay. was playing that shit yeah because we used to now, have fights with, with different blocks like we used to get in the fights and talk different blocks other than that like yeah, we used to do the um the the they used to do the bike stealing thing in my time. They still need bikes. White people coming down like that's my son bike. Like oh man, y'all done went to Ivy Hill, stole somebody's bike. But yo, yeah, but too, and it's crazy. I had to create that for the kids because I made sure that they went out and played. But when we was back in North, they 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 was playing outside too. When they was like before we moved back out here. They had these Spanish kids, these Italian kids used to come check on them all the time. And they'd play up and down on the hill. I was like, yo, y'all play outside. Like, come on. But then, you know, we got a little lucky on our block. Because the only thing that run down there is fast cars, you know. Shit. And, you no, know, you it was taking the life out of... You had 60 seconds remaining. Out of the youth. Couldn't even play in the streets, though. You can't play outside. You can't play outside right now. We can't do this shit. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely changed society. Word. So, I love you. I love you too, sis. I hope I hear everything back tomorrow. I'm going to follow up on some more stuff, too. I'll keep you posted. Okay. I'm glad you got the paperwork in, too. Yeah, yeah. I have 30 seconds remaining. I it out when I was down there. Yeah, God is good.
So let me get back to this uh, seminar. Okay. You and her was fucking with. I had, a, I had her in the headlock because you and her got the same birthday. Once she said that, I just beat her over the head for like 20 minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. That's why she knew about that vaccine. She was like, yes, it caused cancer too. I was like, girl, you can say it, uh, but I can't. Uh, yeah, she she said she, that she, shit. She, she, it was she, her. She, oh, she, me and her got the same she birthday. She said, if anything, she gonna call me down there again. I love her. Oh, oh, that's what's up. That's God. I appreciate that. Oh, that's what's up.